Asalaamu Alaikum everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Muslim Metaverse and the first mosque in the Metaverse. Okay folks, so I'm here in the Metaverse. I'm in a channel or a world that's called uh, Speaker's Corner. So this was developed by some brothers and sisters who try to uh, kind of recreate the Speaker's Corners experience from Hyde Park, London. Here comes the developer, one of the developers. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Abu Khalid. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam, Brother. Alhamdulillah, everything is good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm recording uh, this interview now. Uh, before we go into the masjid, I realize we'll have more privacy there, but uh, I, I just wanted to give people a quick introduction here that we are uh, inside of a tent yeah. and we are in the metaverse. Uh, we are in a world that's called Speaker's Corner and that was developed by some brothers and sisters and Abu Khalid here who's standing in front of me, he was uh, the, the, uh, the, the main uh, person uh, behind this, the main developer. He's very modest but from what I understand he was the main developer and uh, wh what they tried to do with this world is they tried to recreate the Speaker's Corner uh, Hyde Park London experience. So you have Muslims and people of other faiths or no faiths and they come and they congregate here and they discuss everything uh, related to religion and philosophy and the purpose of life and the purpose of the world, etc. And uh, yeah, Brother Abu Khalid, uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Let me just explain to the people watching this that this is not a video game. And this person standing in front of me with a black hat is not a character in a video game. He is the avatar. He just waved to you. He, he is, that is the avatar of a real person who is controlling that avatar. And we are speaking to him in real time. So, Brother Abu Khalid, I'll let you speak. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Sadat, and welcome to uh, Masjid al Ummah. We called it Masjid al Ummah as it's the masjid for every Muslim uh, around the world. And uh, definitely in the yard behind me of the masjid, you can see the speaker's corner, which is a uh, very important part, a huge important uh, part of the uh, masjid itself where people gather here every weekend uh, in Saturdays and Sundays we have the uh, event of the speaker's corner of course we try to replicate the uh, as you mentioned the real speaker's corner in Hyde Park in uh, UK um, so you can say it's the virtual uh, virtual version of the speaker's corner and um, yeah that's basically it. People come here and try to discuss uh, religious subjects and we as Muslims try to convey the message of Islam as always. Yani we do the da'wah with wisdom and uh, good manners as we uh, try. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So uh, folks, basically I'm not encouraging people to join the metaverse because um, I fear for where it's leading and I think there's going to be more bad than good. But Alhamdulillah that there are good brothers and sisters because sisters were also involved in helping to develop this speaker's corner world. But Alhamdulillah that there's good brothers and sisters like Brother Abu Khalid who are trying to use this technology for something good. They're trying to uh, they're trying to use it for da'wah purposes to help spread the message of Islam. And Brother Abu Khalid, uh, as you know, I've been on a couple of times. The first time I met you, um, I was asking you about this masjid, which we're going to have a better look at in a minute. Um, in fact, you can, you can, you can, I'll just give you a quick look here, guys. You can see the masjid there. It's got the dome. It has the minaret. Uh, it also has a very kind of modern uh, look. It's very nice. It's very beautiful. Um, but last time you said something about the building of this masjid, which really struck me. Like it, it really actually left uh, an impact on me. It was very profound. Do you remember what it was that you said about the building of this mosque? Yeah. Building the masjid in the metaverse, once we arrived here, it was actually us trying to uh, follow the steps of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when he reached the Medina. The first thing he did was build the masjid, Masjid al-Nabawi Sharif. So uh, we try to follow his tips once we arrive to the uh, metaverse. The first thing that came to our mind, let's uh, build a masjid. That's amazing. Like it's, it's such a profound thing. It really struck me, uh, Brother Abu Khalid, that in the year 2022, in the metaverse, um, Muslims are still asking themselves the question, how can we be faithful to the sunnah 
of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What would he have done if he arrived in the metaverse? What would be the first thing that would occur to him? And just like, as you said, just like the Prophet, peace be upon him, in Medina, he built a, a mosque. That was the first thing that he did. And we know that as Masjid uh, An-Nabawi in, in, in Medina. So similarly, the brothers and sisters, they designed this beautiful mosque. And you can actually go into this mosque. We're going to go into this mosque so that we can uh, speak more privately. And uh, I mean, yeah, this is really surreal. I'm really just, uh, I'm just really kind of uh, overawed by the whole experience. I, I want people who are watching this to understand that they are probably, well, they are watching this in 2D. They're watching this on their laptop computer monitor or on their smartphone or on their laptop. Um, but for people who want to really immerse themselves in this world, uh, you, you buy these expensive 3D, like these goggles that you put on, like the Oculus goggles or whatever. And then you would experience all of this in three dimensions. So you would be seeing Abu Khalid here in the, in the black jacket with the black hat in three dimensions. And it would look like his hands are reaching out to you and you could reach out your hand to him to shake hands. And it's a very, very immersive experience. I haven't experienced that, but I've been told that it's on a completely different level. So it's not like just like your average video game or something. It's, it's a virtual world where you're meeting people. And look at the people behind uh, Abu Khalid. Those are real people. Those are the avatars of real people. And if you go up to that uh, discussion circle, you'll hear people talking and discussing and debating religion and so forth. So uh, unless there's anything else you want to add, Abu Khalid, uh, you could please do uh, show the audience the masjid. Yeah. So uh, I would like to uh, clarify furthermore about the metaverse. First of all, I would assure the point that you said before that it's not recommended for people to join the metaverse or the virtual reality worlds, because, of course, it's um, um, it contains as bad things as as good things as well it's just like the internet but it's the internet as they call it uh the third generation of the internet or uh, internet three uh, uh, 3.0 so so it's like uh so it's like a new world it's a new internet and what we have here what we call the metaverse basically the new social media so instead of 2d is instead of me sending message to a profile in facebook or instagram or so on it's 3d so basically i'm as an avatar that's my profile i would walk up to someone and that's like a different profile and i would start speaking with that person so instead of sending messages in 2d screens it's it will become it will be in uh, 3d um in virtual reality so a lot of companies are investing in the metaverse including microsoft which they have outspace the app that we're using now Facebook, which uh, they changed their name to Meta, which is a shortcut to Metaverse. And they have their own Metaverse, it's called Horizon. You have also now uh, companies like uh, Vive, like uh, Valve, sorry, and um, Google and Apple, even they're joining. Uh, so it's it's a huge world. I think the, the, the world is, 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 um, is going to that direction of having the new social media inside the Metaverse. Um, and, and the subject is, is big, and I don't want to get into the details of it. You can, of course, watch some videos to explain uh, to you further about the metaverse. Um, however, as the brother was saying, um, this is like a not game. This is not a place where people join here to play games. It's actually a social place. People here, when I when we joined here in uh, all space, people used to talk about all different subjects, about uh, philosophy about sports about politics about technology and actual companies they have events here actual churches they have events here and ceremonies and and actual uh, like uh, marriages even happen in the metaverse can you believe that like people marry each other inside the metaverse so i think this is a revolution that's happening to the world and um as brother Sabu on that Sabu note, mentioned. on that note, yes. um, I'm sure people will want to ask, uh, have there been any shahadas yet uh, in this uh, virtual speaker's corner? Uh, yes, Alhamdulillah, we had until now five shahadas in the masjid. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. 
Alhamdulillah, that, that's beautiful. Uh, br Brother Abu Khalid, for people like me who don't understand how this stuff works, number one, how long has this metaverse in this form existed, like the Alt Space VR? And question number two, how long has this particular world, Speaker's Corner, that we are in right now, how long has, has this been around? When did you develop this? Okay, so about Alt Space, uh, Alt Space is a old uh, app that used to be only in 2D before the virtual reality uh, metaverse uh, uh, thing started. So it used to be, I think, back in uh, 2017, uh, as far as I remember, they started in 2017. And it used to be only on uh, PC or laptops, like 2D mode only. And then they added the, uh, the virtual reality. And about the uh, speaker's corner, it started four months ago. I see. That's why, um, yeah, so this is uh, March 2022. So this is very new, guys. This is a great time. Uh, if you are already in the metaverse, this is a good time to connect with some nice brothers and sisters here in Speaker's Corner. Um, wow, this is really something, eh? This is really something. Also, you know, this is uh, also meant to be a video documentation for... Muslims in the not so distant future because uh, one day they'll be looking back at 2022 and what we find really really amazing and advanced they'll probably thinking they'll probably be thinking this is quite simple and primitive compared to what they're going to have in the future yeah. um, for example you'll notice Abu Khaled doesn't have any legs <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't have any feet he just kind of glides and <laughs> flies around so I, I spoke to a programmer the other day and he was kind of ex he was trying to explain to me uh, why walking feet right now would just be a bit too much for this program. But it's all coming. I'm sure all of this is going to evolve. It's going to become even more and more lifelike. Yeah. Um, and that's why I want people to know that this is how the dawah scene started out in the metaverse. Uh, th this is what it was. Uh, Brother Abu Khalid was very instrumental in developing this. And... Um, I, I would uh, request that instead of us using the portal to teleport into the masjid, just to get a feel of how real this feels, if we could just like do a normal walk and I'll just follow you into the mosque and we could continue the conversation there, inshallah. For sure, inshallah. So, um, yeah, let's let's take a walk over there. So, um, one thing I would like to uh, say yeah, this way, brother. So one thing I would like to mention is uh, this masjid right here, what you see in front of you is basically the uh, speaker's corner a speaker's corner masjid and what that does what that mean is this is um, a template that we use only for events such as the speaker's corner however the actual masjid template it's uh, available through this uh, portal right here so uh, brother if you step on this portal it will take you to the actual masjid and i will follow you inshallah so you can see the full oh i see the full are, are we able to walk up the stairs and into the masjid uh, the, it will take us to the actual template of the masjid. So, and then oh, okay, we will have okay, the same right. masjid, so but it's, we'll just uh, jump in. it's the complete version, inshallah. Yeah, so we just step over this uh, portal, brother. Whee! Where am I now? I hope that worked. Brother, right here. <laughs> I don't know where I am now. All I see is all white. Huh? If you can see this Whoops. blue. It didn't work? This blue, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it did not oh, work. Oh, enter. All right. Okay. Okay. So now we are teleporting into the masjid. Let's see what happens next. Oh, hello. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So as you can see by uh, template, uh, I know it's a little bit difficult to explain, but template means the place, the actual place that we have, the world itself. And the template we have here is the actual masjid itself. So the masjid that we used to stand uh, at, it was only for the speaker's corner event. So you can see the differences. For example, here you see the gallery is open and you have some uh, some posters inside the gallery. And also we have a gallery at the top of the Midan as well, uh, or the Minara. Um, also we have the uh, bubbles for the uh, three masjids, the three sacred masjids, Mecca, Medina, and uh, Al-Quds, Jerusalem, Al-Aqsa. And there we have the posters, of course, for uh, our events and also some advertisement for VR Da'wah and for uh, Brother uh, Yemeni. 
So we can take a tour at the moment and, and just walk around. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just have a quick walk through it. Yeah, excellent. Thank you for your time, Brother Abu Khalid. Uh, no worries, brother. It's uh, my pleasure, inshallah. So let's uh, walk, for example. The first uh, thing we can see is the event that we have here. As you can okay, see, folks. Brother, so you see, they've got the uh, their advertising Quranic uh, learning circles, Arabic lessons, Hadith lessons, speakers' corner. All right. Yeah. And this, this, who is this fellow? This is this is Abu Khalid. Yes. Uh, no, this is brother in Yemen, Yemenite Front. That's his actual uh, YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. This looks familiar, EF Dawa, Awakening Hearts and Minds, and of course, Hamza's Den. So, I mean, that, that leads me to another question, uh, Brother Abu Khalid. As of March 2022, if someone were to come into here, is there any chance they would bump into some of the big names from EF Dawa? Like, I know Hamza has been here, but how about Dr. Imran, Ijaz Ahmed? Um, I, I met Nazambo, I met Nazambo. All of them, they... All of them, they came here. Alhamdulillah, if you, uh, it depends on their time, of course, and their availability, but uh, of course, sometimes you could, uh, of course, meet them in the Speaker's Corner event with their VR headsets. They actually amazing, use a VR amazing. headset when they so, come uh, So for those of you who uh, always wanted to go to London Hyde Park Speaker's Corner, but you haven't been able to, this, uh, this would be uh, at least something that would be similar to that experience. So now we can go to the spheres over there. We can see the three secret masjids. Yeah. We try to give people um, a glimpse of what it uh, looks like standing in front of the Kaaba or Al Masjid Al Nabawi Sharif or Al Masjid Al Aqsa. So uh, these spheres, basically, what you can do is you can step inside them. You can step inside the sphere and then look around you. Oh, you amazing! Them. Really? Yeah. You can go ahead and try that. Oh, subhanAllah. So are we going to go in there or what? Yeah, you can You can do it. You can step in the middle of the sphere and turn around and you will see yourself there. Oh, okay. Amazing. All right. Let's see what that's like. Ooh. So so just stop, stop in the middle. Like once you in the middle, just stop. Yeah. Now you can look around. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Uh, Again, if you were wearing the uh, uh, the, the VR uh, goggles, this would feel like a 3D, like you're in Medina Sharif uh, 3D. Yeah. Exactly. I see. I see. I felt like I walked in like three different worlds, like because I kept I went this way by accident. <laughs> yeah. So it was like I was going in the story, like like. Brrr. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So that that will try to give people the experience of visiting the actual masjids of uh, Masjid Al Aqsa, Masjid Al Nabawi, and uh, Al Kaaba, of course. That's cool. <sighs> uh, and here we have the gallery. The gallery is an uh, important part because we try to uh, convey the message of Islam through art and through uh, posts that just uh, tells people uh, um, like a simple and straightforward information about Islam. And the theme to the gallery at the moment, of course, is what is Islam? Right, what is Islam? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you step inside uh, the gallery, beautiful, wonderful. you have a post all around the place. For example, if you go this way, you can go all around. And it contains information such as, for example, the family tree of the, of the prophets right here. And uh, of course, I can okay, use this. So you got all these posters. Hopefully, you're not getting dizzy. Uh, yeah, you got all these posters with lots of information yeah. about Islam, the prophets of Islam. That's uh, wow. That's Abu Khalid using like a laser pointer. Yeah. <laughs> Just like an, look at that. Look at that. Just like in a real presentation. You see. So if he's giving a tour to non-Muslims, a virtual tour, he can explain points on the poster. That's amazing. Right. Wow. We tell them about the uh, five pillars of Islam. We tell them about uh, what do Muslims believe in and uh, what is the word Islam means. What is the word Jihad means. What is Ramadan? What is fasting? 
uh, what the meaning of assalamu alaikum uh, and so on we try to like tell them a simple and basic and straightforward information so at least people can get the confusion that uh, maybe that uh, happened by some other social media non-biased uh, or biased let's say so uh, social media or even media channels try to say bad things or negative things about islam so we we'll just try to correct that in a way uh, by this but you know abu khalid initiative. there's also something there's also something young muslims can learn from this too which is that we have a lot of talented skilled young muslims out there who are involved in it and developing computer programs developing software developing apps so those young brothers and sisters should really ask themselves that like what can i do to move the dawa forward like the way Abu Khalid's team has done this. Look at this. Like they've put together a virtual mosque. It's got virtual, it's got posters in there, information on Islam. So what is it that you can do with your uh, pool of uh, skills and talents to move the dawah forward? So this is very inspirational, Abu Khalid. I really appreciate it. My only complaint so far is like you, 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 you haven't offered a cup of tea. <laughs> and that's part of Muslim hospitality. <laughs> it's it's out there, brother. Like, please, <laughs> I want at the end of this uh, tour, inshallah, or right now, if you would, we can uh, we have coffee and we have donuts and we have uh, uh, good stuff over there. <laughs> okay, Subhanallah, he has that covered. So my joke flopped. Yeah, he's got that covered too. He's got virtual tea. Subhanallah, <laughs> barakallahu feek. Amazing. So maybe we'll have a quick look down the side here. Just see what's here. Yeah, please. More posters and uh, oh, let me go into the fast mode. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. We're thinking to change the theme, inshallah, soon because of Ramadan, to make it Ramadan theme. Some information about Ramadan and to add some stuff also about uh, the Quran. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, and I might be wrong, but I, I, I imagine the sisters had a heavy hand in the development of the posters, or am I wrong? The design, yes, we have some uh, good sis uh, designers, yani, inshallah, from the sisters. They would be working, inshallah, in the next uh, team, hopefully. Yeah, because uh, I can just see, um, sisters put a lot of thought into things looking very beautiful and very presentable. And the other thing I like is oftentimes, you know, there are like, English grammatical mistakes and stuff, but everything is spelled very nicely, worded very nicely. Uh, so, mashallah, it's a really good job. Alhamdulillah. 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 Regarding the so, I... Uh, about the people who have talent, the young uh, people who have talent, uh, I would just like to add this because it's important thing that you mentioned, and thank you for mentioning that. Islam is not only about praying uh, and uh, reading the Quran and staying good with yourself. Islam is actual uh, like a lifestyle. It's, it's something for the community. We're work of course, the, the judgment day, we're going to go alone. But in this life, we live in, in communities. So once you have a talent, don't, don't separate your talent from Islam. Islam is not only in the masjid or when you pray or when you read Quran. Islam is everywhere. So if you have a talent, try to use that talent in a way that can help the Ummah. If you're a, a doctor, try to be the best doctor so people can say, uh, at least you can be the best Muslim doctor in the world. If you're an engineer, try to build things that with the design of Islamic uh, like uh, art, for example. If you're uh, good with developing uh, apps or games, try to make things that uh, tell people about uh, about uh, Islam, يعني, uh, like the people who created the app of visiting Mecca or even traveling through the history of uh, Islam. These kind of things, it's all effects, يعني, even if it affects uh, like a, a small, with a small percentage, but it adds a lot to the Ummah. Imagine two billion person add with their own um, uh, abilities, يعني, with their own skills. That would be something great, inshallah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 like I've only popped in a couple of times, but I had a good conversation with a non-Muslim uh, here in, the, in this virtual speaker's corner. So, I mean, your team facilitated that by, by creating this world. We were able to have that kind of a so-called face-to-face conversation. So, definitely, uh, it's a very, very well said. I mean, don't separate your skills from your religion. Rather, you know, ask, like, how can you utilize your skills and your talents in service of the deen? That, that should be 
the question we should all ask. Right. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So, Brother Abu Khalid, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but are, are we able to go into that masjid, uh, like, kind of prayer hall itself too? Yeah, let's go. Excellent. Okay, I'll follow you. Bismillah. I'm so glad this didn't exist when I was like 16 or 17 because there's so much troll potential. <laughs> there's so much troll potential here. <laughs> I would have been a troll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get trolls uh, out here all the time, but uh, alhamdulillah, they, they uh, go out, out of this place with a different mentality when they come alhamdulillah, here. Alhamdulillah. We talk to them. Okay, look at this, folks. We are going up the stairs. <laughs> And we are going into the masjid. Subhanallah. MashaAllah. Allahumma ftah li abwaaba rahmatik. Ameen. Ameen. One of the sisters who came here, she said she want to do some rak'ahs in this masjid. <laughs> oh, so if you were wearing the goggles, uh, would that work? Would you actually, would people see you going down into <laughs> sajda? I need to, yeah, uh, be, uh, it's uh, not actually like they would see you doing the sajda because the body is not tracked. So yeah, whenever yeah. I move, if I'm doing the sajda, it's like I'm sinking into the ground because my body is not like turning. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, subhanAllah. Yeah. Yeah, so on this screen we can play some, uh, for example, uh, Quran and uh, some lessons. We actually do the hadith lessons here. Oh, I see, and we I play see. Some, uh, explanation. I guess we can go up the minar, the minarets. Yes, we can go up, but before we go up, I want you to see here. The midana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me click right here, and there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, no, brother, you just click on the green button over there. Can you see the green button? Okay, uh, sorry, I had accidentally I had accidentally, accidentally turned off my monitor for a minute. So, okay, did you say anything? Yeah, I said if you can click on the green button over there. Okay. That's like elevator, it will take you up there. Okay. So folks, instead of having to walk up the stairs of the minaret, we can just click on this green button and we will presumably end up at the top. Here we are at the top. Wow. So we took the opportunity of the manara or the maidana to tell people about the call of the prayer in Islam, the adhan. What does it mean when they hear, about, when they hear it? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, hayya ala salah, hayya ala falah. What does it mean? So we have the explanation here for the translation of the Adhan. You can see it over here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me come closer. Yeah, yeah excellent. And we also added some pictures of uh, people who do the Adhan right there, for example. If you can look up. Yep. Nice. Now see folks, I'm using my mouse on my computer to look around. But if you're wearing the goggles, uh, you would just literally look up. You would just turn your head up, just like in real life, and you would see the top of the mi'dana. And um, then you can look down, and you can see the stairway leading down. You can see my legs. That's me, by the way. So Abu Khalid isn't looking at my video that you guys are watching. He's looking at my uh, on-screen avatar, which is... If I take a selfie here, that, that's what he sees right now. Don't ask me why I look like a Mexican leprechaun, as somebody put it, but that, that's just, <laughs> I chose a green hat. <laughs> well, Jazakallah Khair, was there? Yeah, yeah, please continue, yeah. Barakallahu <laughs> feek, the coffee and the, oh yes and the, yeah 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 I'm the, curious now about tea. this virtual tea and coffee let's see <laughs> let's see yeah so uh, you have two options brother you can teleport back down there or you can just press on this green button again which will take you downstairs okay yeah we could teleport back to the main area where you think is closer to the tea yeah uh, you can jump off the minaret press letter F right to press yeah, try to press letter oh, F. Oh, F. Okay, F. Which will show you an arc. 
I pressed F. Blue I pressed R. F, but Doesn't I didn't see up. anything. What would happen oh, if I just walk okay. off then, the minaret? Uh, I think we can use this way. You can't actually, because this is like a... Um, it's a balcony. Basically, you can't walk off the balcony. But you can press on this green button again and it will take you downstairs. Chala is okay, not too far. Okay, thank you. Press on the green button. Uh, right here. Now we are at the bottom of the minaret and we're going through the gallery, or we're, rather we're going through the... Where, where are we going? Ah, okay. Uh, we just go down the stairs, I see. Now we are back in the main speaker's corner area. And we are going to the Chaima, the tent. So brother, please, you, have, <laughs> uh, uh, you can help yourself. SubhanAllah, wow, that's cute, that's funny, man. <laughs> Also, I want to show you something. You see this? I have a stick here. I think the people with the goggles, they really can pick these things up, maybe, yeah? Uh, not the coffee and the donuts. But this one, you can see the stick here. I can uh, I can use it too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can roast some marshmallows here in the fire. I saw that. I saw that somewhere in one of the other worlds. Wow, nice. Yeah. And, uh, and then I can actually eat it. <laughs> Halal marshmallows, yeah, awesome, awesome. Halal marshmallow, yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> well, Brother Abu Khalid, I might pop in later on to try to have some conversations and see if there's any like non-Muslims to converse with. But for now, I'll uh, I'll just thank you for giving us like a nice little tour, a nice presentation, uh, and maybe it'll save you a little bit of work because now if uh, some Muslims come on for the first time, they will already have a good idea of how this world is structured. And uh, may Allah reward you immensely. And please thank your team on my behalf. I just thought it would be easier if we did a one-on-one -on -one interview because there's less uh, distraction and less noise. But please thank the brothers and the sisters who were involved in doing this very uh, noble work, uh, very, very nice work. And uh, may Allah continue to grant you guys tawfiq. And uh, please remember me in your prayers as well too, Abu Khalid. Jazakallah khair, brother. Uh, and thank you for coming uh, coming by the masjid. Uh, the place is yours anytime, any day. And uh, inshallah, may Allah guide us all and uh, reward us all and accept our efforts and deeds, inshallah. Amen. And salam Amen. To, to, uh, to the people, brothers and sisters who's watching your uh, channel. And let me know about the channel so I can you know the name so I can subscribe, inshallah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I will let you know and uh, and uh, we can look forward to some uh, supportive comments from the uh, from the Muslim brothers and sisters watching as well too. Jazakallah khair and I'll talk to you again soon. Assalamu alaikum. Barakallah